Hi, today we're going to talk a bit more about Magic Studio and the things that are useful for manipulating images like Magic Expand, Magic Edit, and um, Magic Grab. Before we do that, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you are an author who likes to talk to other authors about Canva and how to use it in your marketing, come and join us in the Facebook group, Canva for Authors. The link is in the description. Okay, let's go. Right, because we're authors, we're going to look at this from a book cover design point of view. So first of all, let's get a blank document. Okay, let's try woman in Italy. And let's filter it by vertical. Okay, this is a nice image. This is this woman. She is on a street in Italy and it is very pretty. Okay, so I'm going to go edit photo. And the first one, which is really cool, is magic grab. Okay. Okay, click on magic grab. The AI does its work. It works out what is the focal point in the foreground and what is everything else. And it will help you grab the lady and move her about. How cool is that? So you can make her bigger. Smaller, whatever. If you wanted to, her to go further down the street, you can move her even further down the street. How cool is that? So it is, I mean, before this, you would have had to go and uh, go and use the background remover to get the lady and then uh, make a copy of the image and then erase her from the for, uh, from the image and to put the cobbles back in and then put her back the way you wanted. Whereas this, it's it just makes it really easy and it's really quick to do. And I just think it's awesome. So if you are designing a cover, nope, oh, maybe don't cut her arm off. Uh, if you were designing a cover and something just needed tweaking a little bit, you could just do that. Pick the lady up, put her somewhere else. Um, works with quite a lot of things. It's worked every single time I've tried it. I'm sure that I will come across a case where it doesn't work, but at the minute it works really, really well. Okay. The other thing is, oh, come on, lady. Let's Let's get a new image, shall we? get rid of that and put the original image back in. Okay. So this is the original image and I don't know, we wanted the lady to be here and we wanted more foreground here and the image is just not long enough, right? This one might work quite well because it's got um, a fairly regular pattern there. The next thing is edit photo and go to magic expand. And you can say, turn it to the whole page, reform. Okay. We want it to expand all the way down to here. Click magic expand. I have a video here showing you how to do this in sections manually without the magic, which I still think works better than magic expand because magic expand is still a bit hit and miss. Um, it does weird things sometimes, but let's see how this works. So that's not great because even though it has got tiling, it's going in the wrong direction. That's slightly better. Eh, well, that's okay. But it's quite a lot more distressed at the bottom there than it should be. So yeah, you might still be better off doing it manually, um, section by section. Yeah, as a recap, what you would do is you would save this image with the blank bit, blank, you'd save it as a JPEG, upload it again, and then ask it to fill it in sections. So that's magic expand, which is slightly less magic than magic grab. Um, and let's see if we can find a woman in Okay, let's try this one. Now what it can do is edit photo and grab text, 
Again, the AI will do its thing and it will find the text in the photo and grab it for you, which is quite handy if you want to get rid of the logo from her t-shirt. Or if you just wanted to change it to she says buy my books and you should um, and you could do it again to get rid of this so that's quite useful I think I'm not entirely sure what for I guess it's really useful for getting rid of logos and um, writing for example if you had some if you had a picture of a shop front and you wanted to change the, sh the writing on the board of the shop front that would work those are the two main new things for magic um, edit images the original Magic Edit and Background Remover are still there. The filters are still there. The shadows and the autofocus and things like that are still there. And as I showed you in a couple of videos ago, you can separate the foreground from the background. Let's undo this thing with the text first. You can go to Adjust and you can separate the foreground from the background. And if you wanted to, you can change the background to black and white and super saturated and dark and keep the foreground in color, which is quite handy. Again, if, you, if you're doing that kind of arty photo, there's a more detailed video about how to do, um, how to change colors of people's clothing and stuff like that, um, which I did earlier. I hope you found this useful. And if there's anything you want me to try, or if you have any questions, pop them in the comments. If you want me to design your book cover, again, come get in touch. Do like and subscribe and do join the Facebook group Canva for Authors. I'll see you next time. Thank you for your time.